I'm Susan Page, Washington Bureau Chief of USA Today, and this is Capital Download. We're in the Washington offices of Howard Dean, the former Vermont governor, presidential contender, Democratic National Chairman, and founder of Democracy for America. Welcome to Capital Download. Thanks for having me on. So running for president is pretty hard, and actually being president is even harder. So why are politicians, especially on the Republican side, lined up around the block to run for 2016? This is the most important office in the world. And it's an office where you can change a lot of things and do a lot of things that you think are important. And I think that's the attraction. And when you decided to run in 2004, was that the main thing on your mind? I actually ran because I wanted a balanced budget and I wanted universal health care. That was my platform. That was before the Iraq war came along. When you decided to run, were you confident this is a job I can do? Oh, yeah. Because I'd been, you know, I'd been head of the National Governors, I'd been head of the DGA, I'd been, you know, coming in and out of Washington for, uh, my staff was on Hillary's task for health care task force. So I didn't have a lot of doubts about whether I could do the job. So you, you ran for president yourself, and you've seen a lot of other people run for president. Do some of them have other motivations, do you think? Sure. I mean, and I, and I would be dishonest if I didn't say I had one. I mean, power is an incredible motivation. And that's certainly, uh, people have those kinds of motivations. And I did too. Let's talk a little bit about the state of the Democratic Party in the wake of the elections right. just, this, the, just this month. So Democrats lost control of the, of the House right. six years ago. Now they've lost control of the Senate. They've lost ground with governorships. Uh, and worst of all, they've lost ground with state legislatures. That's the worst thing that happened last right. Tuesday. Now the Republican message was mindless, but it was incredibly disciplined. It was, I'm not Obama. You know what the Democratic what message was? I'm not either. How stupid is that? What should have been the message? What would have been a smart message? The, the, you should look at, take the page out of Bill Clinton. Uh, well, I voted for Obama. Of course I voted for Obama. He's a Democrat. But there's some things I disagree about. And there's some things I disagree with you about. And one of them is the economy. And you haven't done, you know, and off to the race as you go. I mean, the issue, this vote, this election was about the economy and how people are feeling about how they're doing. And what people in Washington are always out of touch. Even the people I like are out of touch. And one thing people do not understand in Washington at their core is that 90% of Americans have done worse in the last 20 years and 10% have done a lot better. All the growth in the last 20 years has gone to the top 10%. Now, I'm not saying that because I'm a left-wing Democrat. I'm saying that because that's a big problem in capitalism if 90% of the people don't think it works for them very well. And they're right. And they're right. So that's a big problem, and we need to talk about that. D is, is a problem President Obama doesn't talk about it? Or is it the, the problem? What, 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 to what degree okay. is President Obama the problem? Where you can blame Obama is he wasn't messaging at all, partly because his own people were saying, oh, don't go near these races. The only effective messenger that a party has is the president. If you have the president, you have the big mic megaphone. But unfortunately, the only person who can deliver that message is the president. And our Democrats were so timid about the president, we needed the president out there talking about what's happening to the little person here, what's happening to ordinary people. The Republicans are the party of big corporations and a Supreme Court that doesn't care about ordinary people. We asked people on Twitter if they had questions for you. Mm -hmm. And here's what one person, Stephen Farnsworth, sent a tweet asking, does Senator Sanders represent the Democratic wing of the Democratic Party? Uh, he's not a Democrat, so the answer is no, Carters, by yeah. definition. Uh, but what Bernie does represent is a deep concern over working families. It's the interesting story I have about Bernie Sanders, which he may or may not want me to tell. When he was mayor, which was a tremendous upset, he was a sort of a fringe candidate for a long time. And he became mayor because the Democratic Party had become old and arrogant and wasn't letting insiders in. And the population of Burlington was changing and becoming much more younger and progressive. And he won by 10 votes, one of which was my wife's. Not mine, because I was a loyal Democrat, but she votes for the best person. What Bernie Sanders is committed to is justice for working people. I think that's not a bad slogan to have these days. Is the Democratic Party today devoted to that? Not as much as they should be. Hillary Clinton, will yeah. you support her in 2016? I am going to support Hillary. I've known her for 25 years. Other than the people who have served in the office, I think she's the most qualified person to be president in the United States. And, and she's also the most conscientious person I know. Actually, most people run for president because they have the fire in their belly. I'm not entirely sure she does, but I know that she thinks that she owes this to the country. So you're convinced she's going to run? I'm not convinced she's going to run, but uh, if she does, it'll be for the right reasons and I'll support her. Have you told her you'll support her? Yes. And what did she say? Thank you. 
Is she the inevitable Democratic nominee? If she runs, she's the inevitable Democratic nominee. She can't be beaten. Well, you can always be beaten, but I think it's incredibly unlikely. And will she win a general election? Oh, that remains to be seen. You never want to take a general election for granted, no matter what happens. Who would be the smart candidate for Republicans to put up against Hillary Clinton? Bush or Romney. Because? Because they're moderate, sort of. And they're more experienced, and they can raise a lot of money, and they're less likely to scare the American public. Howard Dean, thanks for joining us on Thank Capital you. Download.